lie factories and their managers. In the second Hijra century, hundreds of thousands of hadiths were fabricated. Attributing lies to God and his messenger became fashionable. For example, Bukhari states that he selected his 7,000 narrations out of 700,000 narrations. According to Bukhari's own confession, 99% of the hadiths he collected were fake. Muslim scholars were aware of the fact that none could understand the religion which had been distorted by narrations, stories, superstitions, conflicting instructions and cruel laws. Thus, they called and even forced people to follow them blindly, without reasoning and reflecting. They were, and are, always uneasy because of fear that, one day, reasonable people would remove their satanic veil and expose their ignorance. They do not realize that Quran condemns following anyone blindly. 2. 170. 5. 50,104. 10. 78. 100. 17. 36. 26. 74. 31. 21. 43. 22, comma 23. Joint Stock Company Religion Our ancestors, just like the Jews and the Christians, invented massive religious concepts and wrote enormous religious books and accepted them as the foundation for their religion. 23, 52, 56, 42, 21. They changed the religion of God into a joint stock religion established by God plus messenger plus family of the messenger plus friends of the messenger plus their generations plus leaders of sex plus scholars of sex. After this information and criticism, let us ask our questions. A. What is the punishment of adultery according to the Quran? B. When did the goat eat the verse of stoning to death as is claimed by Bukhari, Muslim, Tirmizi, Ibn Hanbal? C. How was the verse eaten by the goat removed from the Quran after the Prophet's death? D. The six famous books of Hadith, Qutu Ubi Sitta, claim that Omar wanted to put the stoning verse into the Quran, but he could not do this because of his fear of people. Don't these books insult Omar as being a hypocrite? E. This terrible punishment which contradicts 24, 1, 2, and 4. 25 is mentioned throughout the Quran as the idol worshippers practice 11 91 19 46 36 18 18 20 is not this a fact F do you claim that the stoning verse which has been removed from the Quran by a holy goat is still valid in jurisprudence and what is your proof that this verse was literally abrogated yet is still legally valid. G. Your stoning verse is narrated by all of your holy books as Ishihu Weshiyahitu Isas Naya El Bedit. Is this consistent with the Quranic prose? You all accept the so-called verse concerning married adulterers. What Arabic words does the Quran use for married people? What does Ishihu Weshiyahatu mean in Arabic? 11, 72, 12, 78, 28, 23, 40, 67. According to your literally abrogated but legally valid verse, can a young married adulterer be stoned to death? When is one considered old? H. Let's accept your terrible claim for a while that some verses of the Quran have been abrogated. The verse 2, 106, according to your misunderstanding states, whenever a verse is abrogated, God will substitute a better one or at least a similar one. So, if the stoning verse has been abrogated as claimed, God must substitute a better one or a similar one. So, which verse has been substituted for the goat eaten verse? According to your abrogation theory, how many kinds of abrogations exist? I. According to your sectarian belief, even abrogated verses remain in the Quran physically. Why has a verse about such an important issue, i.e., stoning to death, been removed from the Quran physically? Why has the small punishment remained in the Quran and the capital punishment been abrogated?
J. According to your own history, many believers have memorized the Quran by heart during the Prophet's time. When the goat ate your verse, what happened to the memorized versions? K. Why do you slander animals, I, monkeys, by following Bukhari who narrates many foolish stories? L. How many verses have been abrogated in the Quran? Do you agree on their numbers? Do you know these verses? 4, 82, 15, 90, 99, 2, 85,